What do you do when you're led to watching something and all you have is a clip? Tips on meeting the one. In this video, how do you know that they are into you? Is he stalking you or is it just plain fate? Bringing y'all together in different situations so you can get to learn each other and learn about one another. In this series of videos, we are decoding Turkish drama, My Love Side, Serra and Salem love story. So one of the ways you're gonna know this person is into you is, is the both of you are going to be drawn to each other and y'all gonna be on one another's radar. Before we go any further, I have to make this disclaimer because we want to make sure we're not stalking anyone. We want to make sure we're not borderline stalking. We want to make sure this person is actually into us. And in this case, she, they are very into each other. And in my case, I was, we were very into one another. So this is not a stalkerish case. It can become stalkerish with the list that I'm about to give you right now. If the other party expresses disgust, dislike, frowning of the face, distance, or just plain rejection, in this case, you do not want to move any further. Don't go past go. If this person shows signs that they're into you, you're going to get laughter. You're going to get smiles. You're going to get mouth touching interaction closeness some flirting and they're going to be welcoming and they're going to welcome you into their space versus i've been there where i just had to completely shut it down like no okay and once that happens you don't go any further but in this case Sarah and salem is going to come together numerous of times and they are into each other and later on, we're going to discuss another part of their love triangle where this other party was borderline stalking, right? Because there was no divine connection there. Mm -mm. And I can relate to Sarah in this story, as many of us can. My husband, when we first met he wasn't he wasn't stalking me but he did come around like say like salem in this story my husband began began to come around more often but i had no idea how much he came around or not until my friend told me hey you know he don't really come around unless you're here so that was like a sign but I, salem is not interested in school he's going to school because he have to and it's probably taking him a long time to finish he's barely there his grades are slipping and he's just not into school so when he meets sarah all of a sudden his interest in school grows back he's there more and fate is bringing them together now part of this is just him searching her out because she's on his radar and he goes to find her he wants to build that connection and the next scene salem is practically forced to be tutored and to bring his grades up by a new student which so happened to be none other than o da gelir şimdi ha geldi işte gel This next scene, Salem and Sarah is at a hospital and she's about to leave and she's about to get on the bus. He said, she's like me. I will get on a bus in a hot minute. Like, ain't nothing going to stop me from getting to where I'm going. But the teacher, the head of the school, which is Salem's brother-in-law, insisted, he insisted that Salem take Sarah back to the school so now they are forced together once again. They has brought them together. Who dares to get you calm? You should do Baba. Since the teacher, then, too, much has passed. Thank you. 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 Thank you
Hadi inerim ben. In this next clip, it's like you cannot make this happen. You cannot arrange this. Only fate can do things like this. He is supposed to have a study session with Sarah, but he can't get in contact with her. So he looks for her, he calls her, and he can't get in contact with her. So after a long day, he gets to his house. And who do he finds there? So there you have it. When this person is the one, fate is going to bring you together without you even trying. In our next video, pivotal moments that lets you know that this person is the real deal and that you should pursue something further. And don't miss in the next episode when we talk about this pivotal moment, let's not confuse it with red flags. So we're going to go over red flags that let you know this is not the person you should be pursuing. And stay tuned for those episodes. Again, you're watching Kingdom Live in Miami, where we're helping families to grow, marriages to thrive, families to thrive in all areas. See you next time.